today I wanted to talk about verifying the integrity of files that are on your system with the MD5SUM program under Linux. MD5SUM is included on basically all Linux distributions. It's pretty universal to the Linux ecosystem and it's very useful for verifying whether or not you have a valid copy of a file that you've downloaded from the internet or torrented or something like that, right? Alright, so it's pretty easy to use. You just type in MD5SUM. Now if I enter it just like that, it's going to hang and wait for input. We don't want that. We want to send some input to it. So let's echo uh, something and we'll pipe that to MD5 sum. All right. And what this will do is this will calculate a checksum of the text string something. And that's exactly what it did. Something, the text string something, corresponds to this exact MD5 hash. Uh, it's unique to the text string something. It's distinct from any other hashes that MD5 would generate, and it can be used to verify the integrity of this text string something. Now, now obviously, sending something from standard input is not super useful like that, just like arbitrary text. What it's really good for is checking whether or not files are what you want. So here I have uh, I have this this directory which has a few files in it. We can look at some. Well, let's let's cat out example.txt. So that, that's, what's, that's what the contents of that file are. Hi, this is some sample text, and this is some more. So that is what the file looks like on the inside, and we can feed that file to md5sum so that we can check uh, its hash associated with it. So easy enough to do. We can just uh, md5sum, and then the name of the file, example.txt. All right, and that is the hash, the unique hash, that is associated with the contents of this file, example.txt. We can use it on multiple files all at once. As I said, I have three files in this directory, date, example2, and example. And uh, we can very simply check all of them by saying md5sum and then the wildcard. And that will compute the md5 hash of every file in this directory, right? Okay. Now what it's done is it's produced a hash right here that is next to the name of the file. Um, and see, we've got three files in this directory, so it found three different hashes that it outputted right here. And we can see, looking at example.txt up here, that it matches the example.txt down here. So it ends in 8C0D5, the same as this one up here. So those, those match, and that is pretty useful if you are going to verify whether or not a file that you have downloaded over the internet is safe. A lot of times, uh, especially for large files like, hypothetically, uh, ISOs for Linux distributions are a pretty common one, um, they will include a, a digest file that you can use to check the integrity of your files against. And we can make our own digest files, that's pretty easy. A digest file is really just the output of a checksum command, like md5sum is a checksum command. Its output put into a file is a digest. So let's just let's run that exact command that we just ran again, and let's output it to some file. Let's just call it digest. All right, we we have that file in there now. So let's vim digest. All right, and you can see it's the same as it's exactly the same as the output that we had before. Now this is useful if we were going to send these files to somebody. Somebody could check the integrity of these files by by run md5 sum against that digest, and that's really the the main use of md5 sum. And we can check we can do that by passing the C option to md5sum and specifying the file. All right, what it's done here, when we run md5sum with the C for check option and we provided a digest file, what it's going to do is it's going to read that digest file and it's going to find certain file names and it's going to check the current working directory for files whose names match the names specified in the digest file once again. The digest file looks like this, right? So it's going to look for date.txt, and it's going to look in the directory, and it's going to find it. It's going to run an MD5 hash on it and compare it directly to this. And that's really that's really so much better than trying to trying to eyeball it like I did earlier when I said, oh, well, you know, the example here, you can see it ends in 8C0D5, matches example up here. That This is really a lot better than trying to eyeball it like that, letting the actual algorithm determine whether or not it's the real hash. It's, it's faster, it's easier. And uh, it also is going to be useful if we transfer these, as I said, over the network. So we can look at 
what's in the directory here. If we were to give somebody all of these files as well as a copy of this digest, then they would be able to verify the integrity of all these files to make sure that they were actually what they wanted. And so nobody in the middle tampered with the files. Nobody got online and tampered with the files on the actual server where they were being hosted. They were the files that you wanted because they're what matches here in the digest. And yeah, so those are the main uses of the program MD5SUM under Linux. Um, there are a few other options that can be passed to it that you can read about in the man page. For instance, there's a uh, binary mode dash B option, which is not uh, super meaningful on Linux. Um, it causes it to be read in so-called binary mode, but that matters on, say, uh, say Microsoft DOS or something like that. There are other options, too. You can check out the pretty brief man page. And yeah, that's about the extent of MD5SUM. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you for watching.